All right, well, I'm not gonna pretend like this is an intro because I've already been in there. I've already done some shopping. We are at the Goodwill today. And we're gonna find some stuff that we can buy and flip for a profit. And I can say that with confidence because I've already done it. So here we go. Well, the first thing I noticed was right here on the end cap, and it is this beautiful piece of glass that has an original sticker. The bottom actually says IKEA. Now, I try not to be too dismissive of IKEA because I know there are pieces that have value. Um, when I turn back around, what is this? This just magically appeared here in my cart. I actually forgot to mention that Dagny's here with me. And so is the Cult of Vintage. So is Michael. Um, you can see here there is a terrine there on the top shelf. That was pretty neat looking. Now this was really exciting, and I don't usually get excited about these things, but I've come across the carousel and the tennis player, but I've never seen an upright piano before. Um, I think these are mostly made in Japan, not really sure about that, but um, it was $4.99. I've never seen an upright piano. It was just really cool, and it worked, um, so I decided to stick that in my cart. I know a lot of my viewers actually collect these. They've chimed in before when I've picked them up or when I've left them behind, so... That got a, got a spot right there in my cart. Now I do want to apologize if it seems like I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I actually had an eBay Zoom meeting scheduled right in the middle of my afternoon to discuss some of the shipping issues that we've been having um, on our store view in the mobile version of eBay. So like I said in my live the other night, I am working with them. We're working through the glitches. Um, and I'm hoping that they can have that resolved very, very soon. But um, I am in a little bit of a hurry. But it doesn't stop me from finding the good stuff. I still find the good stuff. I've got an upright piano in my cart. Now here on this end cap, I noticed this adorable little bunny. It was $1.99, but unfortunately there on his hat, you could see he does have some chips. I liked the glaze on this vase. It kind of reminded me of a Hager glaze, but there was a crack on that one. This was interesting. I wasn't sure if this was like a long vase. You can see it was $9.99 um, made in China, but the original price was $19.99. So they just sliced it right down the middle and $9.99. I mean, it was a decent price for someone who just wants to decorate their house. But for resale, I couldn't do it. So I had to leave that one behind. I don't know how I missed those fish dishes there. They were pretty cool. I did spot this, this little Kutani creamer here. There were no markings on it. There wasn't even a price sticker on it, but at the register, they did sell it to me for 99 cents. I figured I could make a few bucks on it. Now here, Dagny has found this little individual teapot, and I said, you know what? There's one right over here that's matchy-matchy. Look at that. And 99 cents. I believe they're Avon. Not positive about that. Tagney couldn't get the lid off of that one. Uh, we ended up putting them back on the shelf together, even though it really wasn't the right colored shelf. I figured they were a set and somebody might want to buy them together. That was another cute little single serve teapot. Now on the top shelf, I noticed these two mugs, which I believe are Williamsburg reproductions. Um, they are large, probably beer mugs, beer steins, and they were pretty cool. They were $2.99. I don't usually pick up Williamsburg reproduction. There's not a whole lot of resale value there for me a lot of the times, but um, for these, I liked the fact they were big, they were functional, and um, I said, you know what, let's do it. Dagny found some Avon. <laughs> it was a really cute little bottle of Avon. I actually have an Avon bottle that is a bird in my china cabinet. But that was a really cute one. It was Bird of Happiness. Not Blue Bird, just Bird of Happiness. So if anyone asks, what, what, are, what scent are you wearing? Oh, Bird of Happiness. It's like me when I'm wearing my parrot. Except she hates everyone and she's not very happy. Now this was kind of a tragedy because there was this really neat Mexican folk art pottery platter and it was, I liked the design on it, I liked the colors, but you can see here it was damaged. There was a huge chunk missing out of the edge. 
So I kind of looked it over and I'm like, well, maybe it's not that bad. It was, it was pretty bad. Um, there was no coming back from that. So it's unfortunate because it was a really neat piece, but at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't have wanted to ship it anyway. There's a stangle plate there. I just set it right back down on top of that stangle plate. And I spotted the fish dish. It was 99 cents. I'm not sure what this is or how contemporary, how modern it is, but I actually like the glaze on it. Daddy's making weird noises with her shoes again. I hate when she does that. Um, but this is like a little cute dish. These plates were for decorative use only. Do not eat off of them. They were $3.99, but I liked the design on them. They kind of had a fishing theme, which was neat. I walked right by those mugs and Dagny went back and she ended up grabbing those. They were actually really cool. Um, that, those were just epoch. I missed the cool mugs, but she grabbed them and they'll probably be available in her eBay shop, which I've linked down below in the shop with our friends. You can find it there. I see party light. Now this was a cute little candlestick and I feel like deja vu looking at this like we've done it before a million times. It was $3.99 and unfortunately a lot of the petals to the flowers are missing. This little otter was adorable. Jen did a very good job painting that. Let's give her a little credit there. And this, <laughs> in one of my recent videos, I showed some shells that had this fishnet design to them. Um, Horrend makes a lot of these that are very high-end, but Andrea by Sadik also makes um, these fish end figurines. The bear here, as you could tell by the foil sticker, is Andrea by Sadik. It is not Horrend. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right either. And then there's the little cottage. I noticed this little cottage. It didn't really look like a David Winter's cottage. On the bottom it says Ann Cox Ceramics. I loved the contrast of that real shiny glaze with that thatched roof. I thought it was really neat looking. Um, it was $2.99. Had all the original information there on it. Um, and so I decided that I liked it. There weren't, there, you know, a lot of the Winter's cottages have a lot of chips on them. They're just prone to chipping, but this one really didn't have much damage at all. Um, just a few really tiny chips on some of the flower petals, but I grabbed it. Then I spotted this. <laughs> it was just laying over there on the shelf with the signature staring me in the face. It is Jablowski is the signature on the bottom. $3.99. Um, I did look up this artist, this glass artist, and his work sells pretty, pretty good. So I was really surprised by this to find it just hanging out there. I'm like, is this a setup? Did somebody put this here? I don't know, but I'm not going to ask any more questions. I'm going to stick it in my cart. And you know what? I, I'm just going to stick everything in Dagny's cart because I have a Zoom meeting in about three minutes. This is the moment when my alarm started going off, like you have five minutes to get to the car. Um, so I actually loaded all of my stuff into Dagny's cart and um, I gave her my, my credit card and I said, here, have fun. <laughs> Go find stuff. And here I am passing off the camera. I even gave her the camera. I said, you are now in charge of filming as well. So you film, you film the video, you take the credit card, go have fun. It's all you. I'm scared Dagny has a camera. So here we are in the Christmas section. This is Dagny filming. I'm going to narrate for all of you. I've noticed a lot of stores are putting out Christmas, and I think it's because um, COVID was still happening during Christmas, and a lot of people um, are now able to celebrate Christmas with their families. So this is a really neat thing they're doing.
and she found this covered dish and she's checking it over because she knows like I know like everyone else knows that these always have chips on the petals always and unfortunately this one does have chips on the petals see Michael over there looking through the holiday stuff he loves his holiday stuff and then they found this man laying down on the bottom shelf and tried to um, see if he needed any aid any resuscitation um, he was not moving but Michael got distracted by this Santa Claus just kidding that for those of you who don't understand my sense of humor that is just like a fake person on the bottom shelf <laughs> um, <laughs> Michael decided to pull these out they were actually pretty cool um, I'm, I'm not sure if they were made out of corn husks but they were really neat and there you go you get um, a dancey dance with those now Dougie found these latte cups um, they are Pottery Barn Pottery Barn is actually a pretty good brand this cracked me up when I was watching the video before I was adding the voiceover because the smile on the bear's face on the right is just too much. It's two points. Oh, you two points for me. Mm -hmm. Here we have a cross stitch uh, for winter. A winter cross stitch. Not only is there winter, but there is also spring with little birds on it. I thought that was adorable. And also fall and summer. Somebody put a lot of work and effort into those. They were pretty neat. Now, Dagny ended up grabbing the soup terrain that I showed at the very beginning of the video. There weren't any chips on it, which is surprising because it's a soft ceramic. And now I'm back. If you couldn't tell, that's the transition to my hand. And I've found more Mexican folk art pottery with more chips. I've also found another cottage. And I thought, is this another one of those really cute cottages? No, this is a different cottage. And unfortunately, this one is all chipped up. Those are the chips that I was talking about. Like, for some reason, it's just unavoidable. I'm surprised the one that I found didn't have chips. <laughs> now, this was kind of neat. I believe it was made of resin, though. I'm probably for a child's room or something like that. Dagny found this artwork which I thought was actually pretty interesting. Um, and I was surprised that she didn't grab it. I'm surprised that when she didn't grab it, I didn't grab it, but we both ended up leaving it there. I feel like we picked this up earlier. $3.99. <laughs> Down here, there was a whole bag of doll stuff, and Dagny was checking to see if it was American Girl doll stuff, but it looks to be just regular baby doll stuff. All right, so our total spend there was right around $45, $46. I ended up buying all the stuff that you saw me pick up, and then I purchased everything that Dagny had because it was all in one cart, and I just said, I'll buy it all. It's all good, so I purchased everything. Wow, you've just been transported. And you've been transported to Oxford Market Antiques, where I am currently trying to woo this bird into being my friend. And it's really just not working out for me. It's unfortunate, because I feel like we could have been really good friends. See, he just flew away. Um, but anyway, we are at Oxford Market Antiques now. I'm going to take you guys inside. We're going to spend a little bit of time here um, before we transition into a part two. Because there will be a part two. Check out this mouse. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I found it on the shelf there next to the cat. This was also really, I, I didn't know if this was like metal or glazed. Turns out it's just oxidized metal. And Michael is a little bit overwhelmed by the volume of stuff that is here at Oxford Market Antiques because it's hard not to be overwhelmed. I really like this cat, but unfortunately it was very, very heavy. It was made of metal, but the expression on the cat's face was just delightful how I feel most days here we've got the whole wall of trinkets and I love looking through here every time I come there's new little trinkets um, this little dog reminded me of a California pottery at first I thought maybe this is real Hondo but then I was like no he doesn't have the circle eyes so I'm not sure who makes this it could also be chic pottery maybe even Morton. They all kind of make these similar dogs, so um, I kind of gave up. 
I noticed this was about to jump off. Got, just got to push it back on there. <laughs> Here on the bottom, there were a lot of little penguins that Dagny pointed out. And I said, you know, I think those are for snow babies. And um, I had to prove it to myself, so I picked it up and turned it over. And Department 56, I felt like I... I passed the test. <laughs> I just had a lot of snow babies during quarantine. If you remember that video, desperate for content. <laughs> Here we've got another little mouse. I ended up leaving this one. I only bought one mouse, but that mouse was also very, very cute. I love that each mouse was strategically placed next to a cat. Did you notice that? Now, after I got done looking at all the little knickknacks, I decided to make my way over into this section of the store because in the past, this is where I've had a lot of luck with glass and other items. So I decided to look through here and see what they had. They had a lot of crackle glass and I just don't know crackle glass all that well. Um, altogether, it's, it's beautiful, but I just don't know it that well. I loved these tiles. They kind of made me think that possibly they were Italian because of the coloring, but the back, you can see the mark there is very worn, um, but I loved the color. I thought those would make a neat trivet or um, just a decorative piece. I bought both of them. I left one mouse. I bought both tiles. Now I am going to end this video here. I do apologize, but um, there's a lot more footage from this shop and I didn't want to drag it on all day. So we are going to split this into two parts and I will be picking up tomorrow where I leave off today. And I hope that you guys all tune in for that because I found some pretty great stuff as always at um, Oxford Market Antiques. So I'll see you all tomorrow, later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.